everybody, welcome to Live at Five on Wednesday, July the 27th. And oh, we've got a great guest today, I'm excited. Josh Grisetti, I just saw uh, him in Something Rotten. And I was already talking about this the other day. Amazing. We all fell for Josh during Sierra's vlog. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Should have been of course. There's always a Sierra connection. There's always a Sierra. There's always a reason to bring always up Sierra. Always a reason. Hello Sierra, I know you're watching. Hi, I'm seeing it tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Josh Grisetti is back on Broadway. Hilarious. He's a bottom. We'll get to that. Hi. Hello, we're back. Hi, everyone. It's it's Matinee Wednesday. Hi. Matinee What's Wednesday. Today? Wednesday, July the twenty seventh. Josh uh, Grisetti is here. He's amazing in Something Rotten. We talked about that the other day. Yes. That show has a, an entirely well, not entirely new, but an amazing new group of stars. We're gonna get to him. He's back on Broadway. He's a bottom. I had to repeat that joke. Imogen, what happened in the news today? Right, okay. American in Paris will now close on October the 9th, not on January the 1st. That news broke last night. Um, so yeah. sad news. So if you love American in Paris, get yourself. But again, not to Paris like next week. No, not next Still week. have like know, two months. So. I know you're getting annoyed about this. But yeah. um, anyway, now yeah. this is interesting and I'm very pleased about this because I was having problems getting tickets. Oslo has been this massive hit off Broadway and I was trying to sort tickets and dates wouldn't work out etc ah. it's now going to transfer to Broadway next spring How about that but what I love this about the Lincoln Center they're just moving it between theaters so they're just moving it to the Vivian Beaumont well they're, they're smart they're because there. they have that they're both in the round yeah. theater so they can just move a show up make it um, bigger so good for them but you, you can see also off Broadway through August the 28th and then it's check out that time. feature on our site we yeah. did uh, the take two feature With Jennifer Ely and, and Jefferson yeah Mace. Jefferson Mays nice photos from Jennifer a new photographer Ely. Emilio Madrid Kuzer yes did I say that right that. you did okay Okay, um, right, so Jimmy Needlander, who we reported yesterday, which is very sad, he died. The lights will dim both on Broadway and in London's West End. On that's, that, that's very rare, very, isn't it? Very, very rare, that. Um, which just goes to show how important he was to the communities and uh, theatre, both on both sides of the Atlantic. Um, so, yes, big tribute to him. Okay, former Alphaba. Di Raschioli. Is going to fly into Fiddler on August the 11th. She's going to play, uh, what, from a Sarah? From a Sarah. Yeah. Um, so Jessica Vosk leaves on August the 7th. Jessica Vosk, who was formerly a Live at 5 guest. Um, anyway, I think we should get uh, Dee onto Live at 5. Uh, sure, yeah, let's get her. Come on, Dee. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Um, okay, Bernadette Peters is doing a Broadway box promo. Uh, she was on Live today with Kelly and Michael, uh, so check that out on the So if you want to adopt well. a dog, that's this weekend. Uh, or a cat. Oh, so, yeah, but it's primary. I mean, it's Barks. Oh, barks. A yes. cat's is Sunday, Broadway Barks is Saturday. Yeah, but the, it's the... It's an animal weekend. It's an animal weekend, yeah. Yeah, it's a big okay. weekend for animals. Be very meta. Hi, Boston. Cats. Wouldn't it be great if the cats turned up to Broadway Box? Sure. In costume. Yeah, they should just host it. They should. Just play. Um, okay, right. Um, slash, hang out with the School of Rock Kids. They jammed. Video on the site. Fun. That's like a thing that like, Stevie Nicks did. Yeah. Like rockers show up. Okay. You never now, know. We try not to get political on the site, but it's being a bit hard this week with the Democratic National Convention. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So there was Well, and a lot of Broadway stars are Democrats, yes. naturally. Na yes. Naturally, perhaps yes. unsurprisingly. Um, yes. So, uh, leading odds and ends today is a video that happened last night of Adina, Kristen, Barris. Ellen Green, who I adore, Billy, and, they're, and they're all singing that Alan fight Cumming. song. Fight song. They're singing that fight song. But tonight... So Adina Menzel, Adina Menzel is, is currently there. They so Seth Rudetsky, you know, did the what the world needs now yeah. is love, sweet love. It's moved. It's a movement now. It's a movement, and now it's made it to the Democratic National Convention. And Adina is there. Um, we'll Audrey McDonald, time. I yeah. think, is also there. she. Well, she wasn't in the rehearsal video, but he said that uh, his daughter was standing in for Audrey. So I'm assuming Audrey is going to be there in time to do it. And okay. and a whole bevy of Broadway stars, right. Ada Hall, was so, Erica, and so, a lot of people. So anyway, tune tune in uh, tonight. The, yeah. For that. Um, Ham for Ham today. This is an Oz and Ed's. I did a video on Oz and Ed's. I didn't watch today. this yet. Uh, so Jesse Tyler Ferguson sort of did an audition to take over for Divi Diggs' roles. Naturally. Um, yeah, it's not quite perhaps the natural fit that um, right. he pretends that it this is. This is Jesse's final week, video. right? Yes, he ends on Sunday in Philly. I know he went. He flew back to LA, right, to do a table reading with Modern Family, and then came back. So to finish and his final week on Broadway. For so you. We're absolutely. very yes, we love that. Um, this is fun. So Betty Buckley, love her. She's in, in Great Gardens right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's in that scary dude M Night. I can't say his name. M Night Shyamalan. Yeah, That's what we call him. Yeah, him. His movie Split. Yeah. 
So she's, she's, she's she, I didn't watch it yet. Is she, no, 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 she's like all well, over She was in the other the one. She was in the bad one yeah, about the, one the, the like, air. This one looks pretty good. What was that one called? I can't the air. Like happening. people were dying yeah, from the yeah, air. Yeah. There was like something all in the right, air. This one looks yeah. scary. Trees, and trees. if you want to get freaked out, the video is in odds and ends. Um, also in um, odds and ends day, Zachary Quinto's Gypsy Spot. That was very funny. It has to be seen. Just watch it. Just watch it. Um, uh, date for your calendars. Gilmore Girls will uh, be released by Netflix on November the 25th. Uh, this was fun. A sneak Featuring peak. Sutton Foster and Christian Borrell together yeah. again. Exactly. Sneak peek of Corbin Bleu, Laura Lee Geyer. Blue. Bleu. It's just Bleu. It's the color. Blue. Blue. Cor- Corbin Bleu. <laughs> Laura Lee Geyer. You say French. You do like a Bleu. French version of Bleu. Bleu. That's Bleu. <laughs> the Happening. Yes, that was the name of that terrible. I mean, that's how you say it. Well, that's how you say it in French. Um, they are, and Bryce Pinkham, we have a sneak peek of them in Holiday Inn. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Oh, it's like okay. the poster, yeah. yeah got that that's in rehearsals um, right now it Call is it yeah no it starts yeah. really soon uh 54 below Ryan McPhee did a magnificent roundup of everything you expect in august um it includes the butts Norbert the butts is back man and, not and, really a butts and, um our favorites from american psycho they're going to turn up oh my god what are they doing things. it's like the they're going to do some duncan sheep type things of course so we're, we're so it's a little turn. psycho reunion um good news for our live five guests the other day jennifer Kim, oh, yeah. her engagements off broadway has extended through august the 20th and there's also just breaking we just on i was just on the phone to disney uh some news about the yes, newsies may just, film. let me just mention this in the comments what is this newsies film well we're just we're, i'm just establishing with disney what's going on they're going to be filming newsies in l.a with Jeremy Jordan, Cara Lindsay, um, and a few others. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with that video Wait, yet. so they're, they're filming the whole show? They're, they're making a video? A, they're filming a video of, uh, as I understand it, so far, sort of on the phone to Disney. But they haven't days. performed it in years. No. So Jeremy Jordan can just step in and be video ready and Cara Lindsay and... Uh, look, is that what's happening, really? That's amazing. It, just establishing right now. It's not yet on the site. It will be soon. There All right. Go. Okay. Bye. Are you are you off? Are you off? I'm off. Is it time for our special time guest, time special Josh Guzzetti? Please enter, sir. Oh, thank you. That's nice. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing on your phone? Look, right. here's here's what's happening. You look at me. Hi. See, this is um. We told actually, and this is gonna really trip. Oh my God! Look at that's gonna freak everybody out. What is this meta? This, is this meta? This is very meta because you used to be on Periscope, mm-hmm. and now you're on Facebook Live. Facebook Live, yes. But we told Backwards. I told everybody that we were gonna do it on Periscope. So I'm sorry. I'm very. Uh, uh, so you didn't want to disappoint people. I don't want to disappoint Periscope. So we're covering all. So we're um, covering all. Hold on, how do I turn? So this? how are you gonna do this? I'm gonna Okay. Okay. Now, okay. now we're both here. Hold it. Okay. And he's gonna hold it. Oh, okay, great. Too, right? Thank you, Joe Parada. Yeah, you're, you're perfect. Broadway you're publicist, perfect. Joe Parada. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. I went to see you the other day. Be funny on Broadway. Yeah. Oh my God. It was so I love something rotten. It's a fun. Show. When did you first see it? I saw it in previews. Okay. Yeah. Right. Me too. Yeah. And did you think I want to be in that? It's funny because I literally stood up at intermission. Uh, and told a friend that Did you say out loud I want to be in this I said out loud I said I hope this runs long enough that I can replace John Cariani and and literally when the news broke that I had done it the friend I was with was like I cannot believe you like secreted Broadway <laughs> dreams come true <laughs> that's crazy yeah well I mean he's just, it was such a spot on role for like my type I was yeah. like well if you know what is your type let's type. define this come for on the people. you know what I mean what I'm, are you what is your type well first of all I play almost exclusively Jews or Europeans so it's the nose. This uh, nose. Okay. Like, Jews, Jews are Europeans. Say. Okay. Jews are uh-huh. Europeans. Um, uh, big in in the period piece world. Do a lot of those. But yes. but mainly the 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 nerdy you know he, he yeah. kind of cute ish guy next door who's yeah. you know who gets the girl in the end but nobody knows how. Remember when you did that show at the York? What was that show called? That yeah, everyone enter laughing. Yeah. I, I didn't see it. But everyone would talk about you and how amazing you were, and it actually got kind of annoying. I was like, I'm sick of hearing about this guy. But 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 and I like you now, and I'm I'm glad. But the, yeah, you you definitely yeah. like you you have a lot of um you've had a lot of love from the critics and the the community from the beginning, right? Yeah. People, like, people who is this kid? He's good. Night. Yeah, it's, I it has been it's been very uh, embracing. Yeah. So I'm very happy about that. And now you get to be in a big Broadway musical. A big old Broadway musical. And yeah. you're what? Is this like your second? Is this, this is Third, my second week. Second week. Yeah, my second yeah. week in the show. You can't tell from watching it. Oh, well, thank you very much. So, who else start? Okay, so um, let's talk about So, Rob McClure started early. He, he started he early. Brian Darcy James. Yep. And then you came in with who? I came in with Leslie Kritzer, 
uh, and right. with uh, Will Chase. That guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Catherine Burnell. Your love interest. Yeah, my love interest who bumped up. She was um, uh, one of the understudies. Oh, I didn't know that. And and they loved her so much at, uh, doing the role that they oh, bumped cool. her up when Kate left. I've loved her since Thoroughly Modern Millie, <laughs> showing my age. <laughs> she was wonderful in the original cast of that as well. I was in college. Uh, and and you uh, and and so you are. Uh, she's your love interest. She's and my love and you play which bottom? I play Nigel Bottom. That joke never gets old when you talk about this show. Well, and so it, you, and they use it a lot in the show. Too. Yes, There's a lot of bottom so, you, so you the bottom's gonna be on top, and you you are Nigel, and he is the uh, the poet, the poetic, the romantic. Yes, that guy. I'm the heart of the piece. You might say you're the heart of the piece. I've never heard it described that way, but I'll take <laughs> it. Uh, somebody wants you to play Corny Collins in a Hairspray revival. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Me? <laughs> I th- isn't Corny the one who's like the... That's off type. He just that's described this type. That, yeah, that's not my that type. That didn't fit the I type. I a nose job to play but it, No. Corny can have your nose. Uh, so so, what else, so what's going on with you? Look at... Look at I, I, okay, so I looked at your website. Very fancy website, by the way. Well, thank you. JoshGrizzetti.com? Really? Did you that's make amazing. It? It's so fancy. I did. Look, I printed out your resume. Oh, and, oh my God, look how many readings you've done. I was like, I know, and I love you list got, them. It almost got to a joke. I was like, oh, he's been in like, like, eighty musical I, readings. I, 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 yeah, it's almost, it's almost impressive. Like, I, I thought it was funny to actually list them because no one never does, but there's been a lot of them. Yeah. And I even put next to him how many times we did it four times for that one, five times. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, like because they, they come a lot. That's a good role for you, Rags Nathan. Yeah. I like yeah, Rags. That was fun. Um, but but then I learned something when I was on your website. You wrote a book. I did write a book. I, actually, no, you didn't. Joshua Stephen Grisetti wrote well, a Well, that way, when people Google Josh Grisetti, they call him the acting stuff, and if okay. they want to know about the writer, Joshua they Stephen. Him, Joshua Stephen. That's my 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 given name. You know. God in my head. God in my head. I didn't. I didn't. I, I was just kind of fascinated by this. I didn't. I wasn't aware of it. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, it's a you totally like self published this book. Right? I self published it. Yeah. And, and you told this crazy story. Yeah, it's a crazy story. Let's talk about it briefly because it's crazy. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I had a serious fear of dentistry because when I was a kid, I had some traumatic experiences. Everyone does. Every sure. Right. Mine were real good. And so uh, later in life, I tried to like self medicate around like dental phobia. Okay. And I went way too far one day and I ended up in this deep, deep hallucination where I met God and God told me all these crazy things. And so I ended up writing a book explaining the whole thing. <laughs> so you pass, and you said it was like a 45 minute. It was 45 minutes that went by, but it felt like, you know, 150 to 200 years. Like, time just stopped. And you remember this? Like, like, like crystal clear lucidity. you met God, meaning you saw him? Oh, yeah. Like, face. Like, you saw physically what he, what does he look, what does he look like? Well, like is Hillary he Clinton? Or like, what, is he, what, is, what, co- what is color he, is he? It's, what is a, he, what is it's he a great question. But, uh, and the first thing people ask, and here's the, I'm a little embarrassed to say, it's in the book, but uh, he looked... Exactly, mirror image of me. Oh, okay. and and at first I didn't detect it, but then I, I I was like, wait a minute, you that's me. And I was like, why do you look like this? And he he said, I don't look like anything. I, I'm not male or female or whatever. I just am what I am. Your brain assigns like wow, an okay. image to understand that actually, it. That kind of makes sense. But, but then I said, well, why? I mean, I'm an ego. I'm an actor, so I'm pretty egocentric, but. I mean, that's to see God as the image of yourself, that's extreme. And he was like, uh, because everything I'm about to tell you, you needed to hear from a source that you could trust, okay. and you don't trust anyone but yourself. Wow. And it was like, <laughs> and, it was, and spot on, it was totally true. So does that mean you're now religious, or does that just mean you had an experience with God? Hi, religious, religious is funny word, because that connotates like an institution that makes exactly. something of it. Right. So I would say I'm more, I was very atheist at the time, and right. I'm, I'm now sort of now You know he exists because you hung out with him. Correct. So I'm okay. spiritual. I'm, so I'm uh, Annette said, I'm a dental hygienist. I won't hurt you. LOL. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nice thank you for that, Annette. Nice uh, helps too. Josh, there was an excellent production of Should Have Been You in STL. What's STL? St. Louis. St. Oh, St. Louis. I uh, was thinking of your wonderful cast while I was watching it. That was a great cast. That was a fantastic cast. I mean, you were cast. super funny. Thank you. That was a fun show. It was I a standout it. performance. Oh, standout performance. Uh, any new unmotivated winking? Claire wants to know. No. Uh, Kimberly, K Y M B E R L I, saw you and enter laughing at the York, which I, you know she was she was really on she was on this Josh Grizzetti tip really early. Um, so what's the hardest thing about going into like a long running 
show like something right. It must be easy when you're going with a bunch of people yeah. also starting, right? Yeah, and you know, Rob was supposed to be with us too. Um, they wanted to do the whole principal company kind of replace all at once, but then Brian got like a movie or something yeah. like, like Brian does. Brian's in demand. Yeah, so, uh, so Rob had to come in like a month ahead. But it actually ended up being good because that character, Rob's character is kind of the anchor of the whole yeah. thing, and so he knew exactly what he was doing, so yeah. that when we came in, we knew that we could always trust him, so yeah. it was, it, it ended up being a nice transition, but um, I guess, you know, it's hard because you're stepping into something where the whole company is expecting certain rhythms and certain mm -hmm. exact detailed things, and you know you're going to come in and shake it all up, and luckily this company, Something Rotten, they're like the sweetest, most lovely people ever, and they were excited for the new things, like, yeah, do anything different, because we want to see, you know, new stuff and have fun so it was a it was a really easy transition uh, Nadia wants to know who do you look up to in the and she put it in quotes theater world in the theater world who this is gonna sound to? really there's two people that I really look up to um, and it's embarrassing to say it because we're all crossing paths right in this moment one is Christian Borel because he's just a such a gifted man <laughs> when did you first meet him First meet. Are you friends with him? No, I'm not. I mean, okay. Well, have you met him? Socially, yes. You know, we've seen okay, each other yeah. a few times. But like, hey, what's up? We've never worked together, so we never spent a considerable amount of time together. But I've, 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 re I've either replaced people or done productions subsequently from him. Okay. Like I did Spam a lot in Vegas after okay. he had done it on Broadway. I did. Um, you played I, Not Dead yet? Yeah. Yes, you played his I role. played his role. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I and then I did Peter in the Star Catcher when it moved okay. off Broadway. Like, right. So we 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 kind of know each other because of all of our friends and all of our right. working people are the same. And then now he just left something rotten yeah. as I was coming in, literally the next day. So um, we know each other because of all that stuff. But I just respect his work so much that he's probably giving you the side eye because eventually you're, you might be like up for the same. You probably are up for the same roles sometimes. Possibly, but he's now in a different bracket altogether because of everything he's accomplished he now. Eight, eight Tony Awards. Yeah, his his. his award shelf that's like going eh. yeah right I think uh, yeah he's, in. he's in a totally different world now so he's probably de he, he, he's dealing with projects he's, that I don't even hear about you don't think he's worrying <laughs> about you don't, you don't think he's watching this right I don't now think like, he gives a shit like, about like, it. like being like <laughs> there he is there yeah. he is yeah but the, <laughs> other, the other one is Rob McClure Who's just your brother? He's playing my brother, and your I just bro. I, I look up to him so much. He plays my older brother, which is nice, so I can openly look up to him. <laughs> Did you see him in Chaplin? I didn't, you know, and everybody read. So good. Chaplin for him was what Enter Laughing was for me. I know, but everybody talks about how right. unbelievable he was in that yeah. production. So, uh, and I believe it based on having worked with him now. Hmm. You know what else? You'd be great in Broadway Bound. That was that was that sucked. That that was bad. We bring up that negative. negative. Yeah. Actually, there's, there's an error on your website. There's an error. On yeah, it says you were in Broadway. No, actually, it would be, or it would be, Broadway Bound. <laughs> because you never did it. Never did. You're it. You're supposed to, but your resume says you're in Broadway Bound on Broadway. Oh yeah. There's a mistake on your resume. There's not you because it doesn't bastard. have no, but it doesn't have Brighton Beach Memoirs. There's literally a mistake on his website. I'm sorry. I'm an editor. Um, you can fix it later. I don't want you to embarrass you. But you were supposed to do both shows. Yes. Both Neil Simon shows, and yes. I love both of them. And then they're in rep they're flipping repertory. And Laurie Merrick yeah. was your mom, right? She was. And Santino yes. was your brother. Yes. Santana, Santana, Montana. Montana, yeah. And you did one, started one, and then the whole thing just shut down. And yes. You never got to do Broadway. Yeah. But they, you rehearsed it. They opened. Yeah, they opened Brighton Beach, and it ran for a month for previews and a week of actually being open open and then we closed that weekend and uh and brighton beach or, and broadway bound the other play right. was going into tech rehearsals so we had already been on stage we were already with the props like we it felt like we had you know done all the work we just had to set the lights which is why it's on your resume which is why it's on my resume and uh because it felt like i did it i was in right. the Nederlander and i did that show the only people who saw it were in the i didn't get to see it though and i love that show so yeah i'm upset i'm sorry for bringing it up yeah it's okay it happens. uh Gabrielle just quoted me. Sorry, I'm an editor. In quotes. Yeah, that's, sorry. Um, other people love Rob McClure too. So people need to come see something rotten again. Hell yeah. Because, you know, I was thinking about it. it the, the show is having a renaissance. <laughs> Welcome to it. Welcome to the second uh, renaissance. Because that cast is so awesome. And, and I was excited when you all got cast because I thought it was like I cast it. Like, oh. I love when like, there's, and I'm like, oh my God, all people I love. And while I was watching it, I was like going, look, it's all people I love. Yeah. So, uh, and you're all so funny. And oh, do you, you crack each other up during, the, like, is there a lot of, like, shenanigans? Or is it just so, like... Well, right now, we're just on our second week. And so right. people are behaving themselves. Today, ironically, is the first day people started throwing some weird things in my direction. Being like, well, now I know you're not going to forget your line oh. if I do this to you right now. So now it's started, we're starting to ease into that territory as we, as we speak. 
I forgot you just did a matinee. I just did a matinee. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember that you're, 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 you're actually are here in between shows. I know. And you have a show tonight. And I have a show tonight. People can maybe go see it You tonight. can literally just get up right now. Well, yeah. not right now, but as soon as this broadcast it's is done. Over. And then go get a ticket and come to the St. James Theater. And you should. And you probably should. I don't know what, you, what you're doing tonight, but... I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that whatever you're doing is not as important as seeing my <laughs> show on Broadway. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want people to know? Um, I love you. So you, your, your, your book, which I want to read, is available online. Available online. You can, you can look it up. Joshua yes. Stephen Grizzetti wrote that one. And Josh Grizzetti is in Something Rotten that's on right. Broadway at the St. James, like one of the most glamorous theaters, uh, too. And, and that's another thing about I love doing this, because St. James is always one that when I was a kid, I was like, I want to do a show at the St. James. Like, I just want to do Are that. Are you saying you secreted this entire thing? I see. From, like... Is that still a thing? From childhood. I don't think it is, but... Uh, in front, but, yes, I'm doing it anyway. I love that you just stood up and said, I want to replace John Kerry. Yeah, I want to repl- I hope it runs long enough that John leaves and then I can take over for him because I want to do this. I love it. That's how it should happen. <laughs> right? I wish I had more power to cast people because I always, you know, we bring up castings on here all the time and I wish that I can get things done, but I can't always... But clearly you can, but you know God. I, but maybe, I think that's probably what it all boils down to. I met him, and now he's just listening. He's like, all right, you want to replace John Kerry? Like, no, okay. <laughs> so what's next on your list? Any other big dreams? You know, I don't know. Big. Well, I want a TV series is what I want. But, yeah. then, but besides that, I'm also I'm eyeing now. I'm eyeing uh, Spencer Moses in, um, in School of Rock, because that's a good character for me. Um, and the guy playing the doctor and waitress. I'm like literally like, okay, what's open? Who can I? Because I think Fiddler's, Fiddler's closing, right? You want to play the gynecologist? The gynecologist, yeah. Uh, I have yeah, Fiddler's closing. Yeah, Fiddler's. So I can't, I can't replace Adam Cantor. Fiddler's on the way out. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'd be a great Spencer, Kurt, Kurt Okay, yeah, Spencer. I like all those things, and even you know what, even bigger roles. Uh, well, I'll take that too, but I'll take paychecks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank yeah. you guys for watching on Periscope and, and Facebook, wherever anyone's watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And we'll be back tomorrow with another awesome guest. Bye. Bye. Wave goodbye. Wave.